iModel is a combination of files dedicated to project review. It keeps all the properties and data of the original models, whatever they are. In this presentation, I'm going to show how to combine and aggregate different models from different origins. I will also present which benefits we can get from the iModel. We will see a Revit iModel which was directly produced within Revit with a Revit iModel plugin. The Revit model keeps all its properties and when we select objects, we can view all the information that they co still contain. For instance, when I select a wall, I can check in the right panel the components, materials and other information about this wall. If I select a panel on the facade, I can see that it is a curtain wall panel and belongs to the family panel systems. In addition to this Revit model, we will add additional models from various origins and we will benefit from the capability of Bentley Solutions to manage, aggregate and federate files format from other software designers. BIM is a wide concept and must include as many participants as possible. In the reference dialog, we can view the many files, many different files formats which can be involved in an iModel. We can add DWG, DXF, 3DS, SHP, IFC, GT, OBG, 3DM, SKP file format. Now we will reference a DGN model which was designed with our respective Bentley applications. All the various nested and federated models of this project will now display. After referencing the DGN file, we will add an all plan model via the IFC file format. So let's navigate to the Nemetric folder and add as reference a Nemetric folder file format. We can easily control, manipulate, rotate, mirror and copy the IFC model. Even better, when the IFC model is georeferenced, it can automatically locate in its right environment. Later than this uh, Nemetech IFC model, I will also add two additional IFC models from ARCHICAD and AutoCAD architecture. So I navigate in the reference dialog and we check the um, AutoCAD architecture and ARCHICAD models. They now display in the view. We can then check the properties of the imported objects. The properties of the selected walls appear in the property panel. We can track information such as length, surface, volume and materials, finish, coating and so on. Properties are maintained whatever the original file format is. A co-sim building designer will recognize objects from the image check, Graphisoft, AutoCAD architecture and Revit. IFC entities are clearly identified. Here I select a wall which belongs to a Nemetic model and then now you can see that this one is from AutoCAD architecture. And finally I will select a slab from ARCHICAD. Now that we have all the different models imported, we can generate an aggregated I model gathering the different models and add all the information that they contain. We can create a single package which will contain all the data and for security reasons we can also request a password or a certificate. Now that I've published the iModel, I will open it in within Bentley Navigator which is a review tool for project review and control and it offers many features. Within Bentley Navigator, even when the different models are aggregated, I can track the various origins of the different models and know where they are coming from. All the content of the different building models can be turned on or turned off. In an AI model, data usage is very fluent and, can, and we can isolate types of objects from the various models. Here I can see item sets or groups of objects for curtain walls, doors, walls and windows. I could even have created groups for slabs, mechanical systems, equipment or electrical. Item, item sets can easily be displayed or isolated with Bentley Navigator. It helps to check and view the different disciplines. Item sets can even benefit from a, from a specific display color. With item set, the rest of the model can easily be turned on or turned off or displayed as a transparent environment. In this example, I will create an item set for structure and will select all the structural elements of the different buildings, models, whatever their origin is. To select the structural object, I will benefit from the Create tool and will be able to select the objects from their criterion and properties. I can also create a search based on objects' common properties or multiple types of item. In this drop-down list, I can see all the items which can be identified and selected. I will then select all the structural elements, the concrete columns and beams, and also the IFC beams and columns. In the right panel, 
I can also see the items contained in the eye model and navigate through it and locate objects. But now let's isolate the structural elements. I can also recolor the item set with its specific, sco with its specific color. So now let's use the item tree and navigate to the different in the different items. I can also have a detailed panel which gives me more information about properties of objects. So now let's select beam and see the details we can get. And we also have a search tool in this item tree. So I can easily select a category of objects from this item tree search tool. The create tool is also available in the item tree to create a selection set of objects. In this example, I will identify the round elbow meters with a diameter greater than 10. All the round elbows with a diameter greater than 10 will then be gathered in the result section of the search tool. The details panel will show all the additional information for the subjects. So now let's navigate into the search to result part of the pan. And if I select the, the title, rondel bows, I will see all these rondel bows displayed in the detail dialog. So now let's examine or navigate in our model. I will benefit from uh, saved views in this eye model and can I can easily locate in my uh, in my model in specific parts and areas in this model. We can then navigate from these various locations. We can pan, walk, fly through the model. This helps to check and control the validity of architectural proposals. We then now turn around the central model which is a Digian model. It is an aggregated model with different disciplines. We have architecture, structure, mechanical systems, electrical, all these gathered in a, into a single eye model. Another tool to inspect and check the eye model is the dynamic view. It is possible to proposition section plans in the building model. So let's position a section plan. Within the view attributes, I can allocate a specific display to the forward part, section plan and backward part of the model. For instance, the backward part of the building model can either be transparent or wireframe, whereas the front part of the eye model is displayed as shaded. In this example, we will turn off the backward part of the eye model to better view the section plan. We can dynamically move the section plans through the eye model and view the inside of the different buildings wherever they are coming from. Here we have the Revit building on the left, the DGN model in the middle, and then a metric building on the right. In addition to this example of usage of the eye model, we could also run clash detection to see how in some cases objects physically intercept, and also use markups to comment and annotate elements to be modified in our product. Thanks to the iModel ODBC driver for Windows 7, we will be able to seek for information in the database of the iModel. Using Excel, I can connect to the database of the iModel and extract information. I now navigate to the iModel file. In the Excel data tab, we will select from other sources. In the data connection wizard, among the available data sources, we will choose iModel data source. And we will then browse to the iModel file. Once we have selected the iModel, all the related items will be reachable and we can select the type of object that we need. And then in this dialog we can see all the many items which are available from this iModel database. For this example I will try to select the wall information. So let's select the walls here and import the wall information into Excel. then all the relevant information about walls will appear in Excel. iModel is, based, is the base of a wide review process involving information from various origins. In the very view, review process, Bentley Navigator will provide a wide set of tools to view, investigate, analyze and query data. 